Gold continues to be one of the most sought after precious metals. It is one of the most valuable and is considered a symbol of wealth and power. To obtain gold, miners must process tons of rock. Have you ever wondered how gold is made? Let's visit the largest gold deposit in the United States and the world's largest underground gold vault to discover how gold is extracted from mines and stored in one of the most secure places on the planet. Billions of years ago, a meteorite shower brought gold to the earth and it remained buried until miners arrived and the gold rush began. The California gold rush seekers didn't care about the origin of the gold. They pursued the American dream and gold could make them millionaires. Little did they know that beneath their feet lay a sea of gold much larger than they could have ever imagined. Gold in the form of overheated silica was forced to rise from the depths of the earth and crystallized into quartz veins. To meet the demand for gold, mountains are moved and more precious metal is extracted than one could imagine. Gold cannot be extracted or processed until it is found. The first step is to determine where the gold is located. Currently, most gold is found in rocks in the form of microscopic and invisible particles. In the northeastern part of Nevada, the largest gold deposit in the United States is located. The traditional tool used to find gold-containing rocks has been replaced by a massive electromagnetic system, a huge metal detector that scans the skies. It sends a signal capable of detecting magnetized sand and all related components several hundred meters underground. Gold is often found in this sand. Aerial exploration is an expensive method but it can narrow down the search. Finding a very large mine is not easy, so there is a high economic risk. Out of every thousand prospecting efforts, less than one yields results. When a gold vein is located, the drilling machines start their work. These machines can drill up to two kilometers deep. The gold mine in northeastern Nevada is the second largest gold mine in the United States and is owned by Barrick Gold, the world's largest mining multinational. It consists of two mines, an underground mine, and an open pit mine. The open pit mine is over 80 meters wide and 450 meters deep. Six tons of limestone containing gold are transported daily. Before blasting, they first drill into the rock and then insert the explosive, which is made of ammonium nitrate combined with fuel. Each time they use between 700 and 900 tons of ammonium nitrate and produce 600,000 tons of pulverized rock. Each ton of ore may contain just three grams of gold so a vast amount of rock is needed to produce a gold ingot. Enormous amounts of money are required to extract this mineral. Currently, gold is priced at around $63 per gram, and miners spare no expense. The world's largest shovel, which costs over $20 million, is used in this mine. The haul trucks can carry up to 270 tons of ore, and the shovel loads one ton in three scoops. A truck arrives empty and leaves with a full load in just a minute. The trucks unload the ore, and the conveyor belt deposits it into a gigantic rotating drum. Inside the drum, massive steel balls grind the rock into powder. The rock is crushed into sand and mixed with water to form a kind of slurry. Then it is transferred to enormous tanks for the next phase. Small amounts of cyanide are added to form a very diluted solution. Cyanide is one of the few chemicals that can dissolve gold. Small fragments of carbon are then added, which trap the gold from the solution and separate it from impurities. The gold solution is then treated with electrolysis. An electric current causes the gold to deposit on the negative electrode or cathode. In the Nevada mine, there are tons of gold that cannot be extracted through open pit mining, so they go underground, a much more expensive and dangerous endeavor. Miners travel half a kilometer to reach a dark and strange world consisting of an intricate network of 80 kilometers of tunnels. The average temperature underground is 60 degrees Celsius. The mine has one of the largest air conditioning systems in the world. The same technique used in open pit mining is employed to extract gold underground. First, blasting is done, and then the shovels collect the ore and sift through the falling rock until the truck is full. The truck takes the ore to the surface where it will be processed. The gold is covered by a thick crust of sulfide. The ore and water are heated to 224 degrees in a massive chamber. Pure oxygen is added, and after subjecting it to tremendous pressure, the crust breaks and releases the gold. Both open pit and underground gold extracted from the mine end up in the pouring room. The next step is smelting. The ore is heated to around 1100 degrees Celsius, and with 90% pure gold, each ingot weighs 25 kilograms. However, to obtain the ingot, miners must process up to 8,200 tons of rock. 
Each ingot is about the size of a brick and is worth over a million dollars. Over 26 tons of gold are extracted from the mine each year, amounting to more than a billion dollars. Now the gold is sent to a refinery where all impurities are eliminated. The gold undergoes the final cleaning and polishing process. The last step is to mark the ingots with their purity percentage. Over 190,000 tons of gold have been extracted throughout history, and a large portion of that gold ends up in the hands of the Federal Reserve. For over 80 years, armored vehicles have circulated through the narrow streets of Manhattan, transporting millions in gold deposits to and from the only Federal Reserve Bank trusted enough to safeguard almost a quarter of the world's gold supply. The Federal Reserve Bank of New York's Gold Vault is located in the basement of its main office building in Manhattan. Built in the early 1920s, the vault provides account holders with a secure place to store their monetary gold reserves. Much of the gold in the vault arrived after World War II, as many countries wanted to store their gold reserves in a safe place. Holdings in the gold vault continued to increase and peaked in 1973, shortly after the United States suspended the convertibility of dollars into gold for foreign governments. At its peak, the vault contained over 12,000 tons of gold. Since then, gold deposit and withdrawal activity has slowed down, and the vault has experienced a gradual but steady decline in overall holdings. Nevertheless, the vault remains the largest monetary gold deposit in the world. The gold travels in heavily guarded armored trucks. The trucks are unloaded, and though it may seem like a small pile of gold bars, attempting to put it in the back of your car would burst the tires. The gold is then taken to the world's largest underground gold vault, valued at over $380 billion. So what would you do with that much gold? Leave your opinion in the comments. If you want to know how a gold chain is made, you can find the link in the description and the first comment. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and share it with someone who might be interested. For more amazing videos, subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to keep learning. Thanks for watching.